Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so excited today to bring you God's truth. Now, are you ready for God's word? Can we call for that daily bread first? Because the Lord commanded us to do so. Praise <laughs> God. Now, why are we calling for that daily bread first? Not just because the Lord commanded us to do so. He commanded us to do so because he wants us to have our daily bread. Praise <laughs> God. So, if you obey him, then you will have. So, are you ready? Say this when you say, Father, today I demand and I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now then, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you because burdens are being lifted right now. And yokes are being destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, someone you're watching me right now, and you've been dealing with certain societal thoughts in your heart. You've been battling with it. It looks like all hope is lost for you, and, and you, can't, you can't even see any future. Listen to me now. That is the lie of the devil. You've got a future. And Satan has veiled your eyes so you don't see it. But I hear the Lord say to you now, if you will turn to me, I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know about. He says, turn to me now. Turn to me now. And I will show you great and mighty things that I have prepared for you. You've got a future. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. You know, as, as, as I just said, burdens are lifted and yokes are destroyed. I just saw this person. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, that spirit that is trying to strangulate your life. I command it to leave you now. Let it go now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we began to talk about something yesterday about walking in the light. And you've got to listen to this. So, we are in 1 Corinthians. We, we stopped there yesterday. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. It says, now we have received. Think about it. Hmm. First of all, have you received? So, you know if you're part of the we that he's referring to. You don't just wake up and say, now we have received. Not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. Question is, have you received? Did you receive the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Spirit? See? Um, yeah, I think so. No, you don't think so. You know so. If you have received the Holy Spirit, you know you have received it. You don't guess. You don't wonder. Have I? Have I? Have I? No, you, you, you can't have somebody living in your house and, and, and you're wondering, hey, is someone living in my house? Oh, no. I think it's like when I wake up, it's like, no, you know who's living in your house. You know his name. You know what he does. You know where he slept. It's the same thing like us having the Holy Ghost. You, you can't say you have the Holy Ghost inside of you and you're, you're wondering, is the Holy Spirit really in me? Then you don't have it. If you have the Holy Ghost, praise God, you will know something happened to you. You know, you know someone say, eh, you receive the Holy Ghost by faith. You know, even if you don't feel anything, there is no way the Holy Ghost will come inside of you and you will not know something has happened to you. Eh, not come on now. He's, he's not that silent. Oh, you will know something has happened to you. Your tongue suddenly becomes like the tongue of a bread writer. You open your mouth, prayer becomes different. You know, before this time, you, you pray, you want to pray, you just say, oh God, my Father, I thank you for today, Lord. You know, you, you just keep praying, no sanctimoniously like that. But when the Holy Ghost comes, you go, oh God, my Father, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. You know, Jesus said, this sign shall follow them that believe in my name. You now you understand he was telling us the preachers because he was telling his disciples go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature and then he now says he that believes and is baptized shall be saved what baptism is he talking about there he was talking about the holy ghost baptism yeah he wasn't talking about water baptism 
He was talking about the Holy Ghost baptism because that's what changes your life. So he says, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. And he that doesn't believe shall be damned. Then he said something very important. And that was to the preachers. He says, these signs will follow those that believe. Because he says, everyone may not believe. So the ones who believe, you will know because they will be baptized. Yeah. So you know, oh, I see that baptism. But how do I know someone has been baptized with the Holy Ghost? He said, this sign shall follow them that believe. Now, when you look at every sign he gave, you know he's talking about the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in their lives. So, when he says, this sign shall follow them that believe in my name, he said, they will cast out devils. That's not a silent thing. <laughs> you, you, you won't tell me that you got up one day and you just, just felt an urge to cast out the devil that's been troubling you every day. You know, you know you, you're this fellow, you sleep, and then something comes to press you, and then you wake up, Jesus! And then you, you open your eyes. And then it continues like that. The day you receive the Holy Spirit, oh, bruko veyada vika when you receive the Holy Ghost and that thing yes come your way and you're just now you, you're not going to wait for anything to press you you might be sleeping but listen when, when a demonic presence come around you the, an alert will just come up in your heart a signal will come up in your heart and you will just wake up with an anger inside of you what nonsense devil get out of my room and then next is like i was i was so bold in saying that you know what's going on it's not you it's the holy ghost in you praise god yes it's the holy ghost in you suddenly you see someone that is saying now before you see a sick person you say oh Pele, hey, how are you doing is your temperature high oh sorry you have you taken drugs but this time around, you see somebody, ah, I'll be, you are looking at the person. You're like, come, come, come. You put your hand on that person and say, be healed in Jesus' name. They're like, amen, amen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you believe in what you've just done and that they are healed. You think that's normal? No, it's not. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said they will speak with new tongues. They will speak with new tongues. The Holy Ghost is in you now. You are praying, oh, Father, I just thank you. And while you are praying, you just sense something is trying to interrupt your prayer. You don't get what I'm saying. So you just, you just like say, oh, Father, I just thank you. Oh, Lord. No, no, sir. Father, I bless you, Lord. I give you praise. No. What? Let it go. What's going on? The Holy Ghost is there. He can't be in you and just be so docile and, and so dormant, doing nothing, and, and you're just there, you know, doing your things like normal. Not the Holy Ghost. Not, not, the, not, not the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Not the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He is in you. Now he says, we have received that spirit. Why? Not so that we'll be just dancing and jumping and running everywhere. No, so that we may know. Know the things that have been given to us. Now, knowing those things. Now, let me show you this. Watch this now. Remember, we're talking about walking in the light. It says... That we might know the things that have been given, freely given to us of God. Now what does the Holy Ghost do in you? He turns on the lights. Listen, when you're in a dark place, you will know what is in that place. Now someone may throw you, open a door and, and throw you inside or push you inside or lead you inside and lock the door and, tells you, and tell you, look, there are lots of good things inside this room for you. But you enter the room and it's dark. You won't know what is there. When you even try to use your hand to feel, you, you won't really know. You're just like, ah, what is this one? I don't understand. What is this? But hey, guess what? When the light is turned on, and then you begin to look around and like, oh, wow. 
that's a fridge that's a chair whoa that that's an electronic set whoa that, that's oh wow hey praise god whoa but when the place is dark uh, what, what, yeah, they say there are things good things for me here well, what are they he, he, you, you're trying to figure it out but turn on the light now that's what the holy ghost does he turns on the light now that's why he says that we may know what is that knowledge is the knowledge that comes with light. So you see. Now listen, you've got to, ah, you know, I was telling you last week, you've got to make up your mind. You know those things? This is 2022. You know those things that have been freely given to me? I must get every one of it. Jesus said, ask and you shall receive so that your joy may be full. So Jesus is interested in the fullness of my joy. But guess how it works? Now this is the secret. <laughs> mm. This is the secret. Listen. Listen. Verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which, who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Now look at verse 13. These things we also speak. Which things? The things that have been freely given to us. How do we get to know them? By the Holy Ghost. Now he says, these things we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. Mm. So there is a teaching of the Holy Spirit that helps me to assess those free things that have been given to me. It is not only for me to see them, but I have to be taught how to operate them. If I'm not taught how to use them or how to assess them, it becomes useless to me. I know I have this thing, but then my life is not bettered. I know I've got, you know, you know, you know, some, some people like, ah, I, you know, you, have you walked into someone's house before and, and then you see them hold um, an electronic equipment and, and they are just using 1% of that thing? Some people have phones. They don't know what their phones can do. So, so what do you do with your phone? Just to receive calls and send text messages. Come on now. Do you know this is your phone? Can, can tell the atmospheric pressure? Do you know this is your phone? Can tell your body temperature? Do you know this is your phone? Can check your heart beat rate? Do you know this is your phone? Do you know? It's like, huh? And I used to pay money for all those things. <laughs> you didn't know. But you had it. So you needed someone to teach you. Either the manual will teach you or someone whose experience will teach you. Now it's the same thing. Knowing you've got divine health is not enough. Knowing you've got divine prosperity is not enough. You will not walk in it until you are taught. And let me tell you this truth. The only person that can teach you Ah, tomorrow I'm going to begin to go into how the Holy Spirit teaches us these things. Praise God, because my time is up today. But you've got to learn this thing. Listen, make, say this with me. Say, 2022, I will walk in all things God has given me freely. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.